Hey guys, this is Sanjeev on behalf of Biker and Baker Travels. So here's a quick video on installation of the bash plate that uh, we are manufacturing for uh, Versus 650. So this one's for Bharat, but uh, for the demo purpose, we are just kind of opening it up and uh, showing you what all is included and how uh, it gets installed. So in the package, of course, this is an unboxed one. So in the package, you get uh, an axle bolt, which is a replacement for the current one. We'll open this and show it to you. Um, along with that, you also get uh, two brackets, one for the left and one for the right. So how do you, how do you distinguish the left and right uh, is something that I will show you on the bike. But if you typically observe, this one has two bends, whereas this one's a straight bend, right? So this one, the one that has two bends is the, us is the one that goes on uh, the brake side which is the right side if you're sitting on the bike and this one obviously goes on to the left one something like this so this one goes on to the gear side right so besides this we also provide uh, two other pieces of brackets this is a bracket this is an LCAM bracket and that goes on the gear side of it so there's a, a pre-threaded uh, hole that we have made so that's again for a specific purpose I'll tell you more about that in just a bit and uh, this and this component goes on the brake side of it so typically they get uh, attached this way and uh, the bottom part of it gets attached to the bash plate the brackets along with this we also ship a hardware packet that should be here so this again we'll get into this detail a little bit more uh, so that you kind of follow it to the T now the for the bash plate itself this again is packed this way uh, so yeah this one's a black one I wish Vivek was here for some assistance but uh, yep his, I'm doing it on his behalf now so this is the standard bash plate this is the black one uh, and my favorite one as well so we have uh, about one two three four five segments so these are all designed based on the how the silencer pipe bends and uh, the clearance that we are looking at when the bash plate is installed is roughly anywhere between 5 to 7 mm and that's what uh, the target clearance is so these are two mounting points to the front and this is for uh, oil drain and these are again uh, additional drains so this also doubles up as uh, a place to kind of you know insert the uh, radiator pipe but in some cases it doesn't um, install because of the way that the pipes are fitted and these are the side ones and this is the back uh, fitting this bracket so this bracket goes right here this is the one with two bends and this goes right here so we'll just keep this here or rather here and this one of course uh, goes right here this is the l1 so this is the left one and this goes this way it's slightly twisted and that's how the design is so these two are the front brackets so this particular one so this goes uh, this way so this goes this way and from here this particular point mounts in so this goes this way typically yes this is how the bash plate goes and as I mentioned, the L clamp, which is this one, goes inside. Uh, the mounting point is inside. So basically, this bracket comes somewhere here at the back. And uh, if you have SW Motec or any of the standard fitment guards that you have, you don't have to worry about it because this is designed to fit from inside. Um, let me just see if I can get an angle for you. Uh, somewhere. Uh, so if you see, this is... The bracket so if you see this is the bracket which kind of rolls up all the way and and this is where it goes and similar installation on that side as well so there are slots also provided which is again to reduce weight but this also doubles up as uh, slots for you to install the horn and that's exactly what we have done here so in case if you want to install the horn and that also can be done here so we will now get into uh, the mounting hardware that we send along. So what we send along here is uh, four SS bolts. These are 10 mm bolts. And uh, we also provide you with uh, two washers each, one for either sides. So that is something that we provide standard. We also provide you two spacers. One is a sh long spacer and then there's a short, short spacer. So these are again MS and these are zinc coated. So we provide you hex bolts, which is one, two. Uh, there are two types of bolts in this packet. One is uh, 
the hex bolts which has a hex head all right so this is the hex head and uh, the spanner is uh, uh, i guess it's eight uh, i guess this is a 10m yeah this is a 10 number 10 spanner and uh, we also provide you uh, a button head allen bolt uh, again so three of these and for all of these bolts we provide you two types of washer one is a regular washer and then there's a spring washer a typical way to install these nuts is you use the flat washer and so first goes this flat washer then you have this split washers basically they help retain the tension on the nuts on the bolts sorry so your typical way of installing would be like this right so this would be the five the four bolts and then there is another one if you're wondering where that goes that goes at the very back and that goes somewhere here all right so that's one two three four and five okay so this is exactly where they go do not swap them they've been provided there these have been provided for a purpose so again just to show you the way they go is the flat washer goes on the face of the plate and then there is a split washer that is to keep the tension and they don't let them uh, loosen up and that's the whole intention and then the bolt goes in all right so i've semi assembled this bash plate as to how it would be on the bike so this is just again for reference and this is the same thing that you need to replicate the bolt head goes here there is no washer on the outside so the small spacer be very careful about this the small spacer goes right here then comes the washer so first install the washer and then put the bolt in otherwise it would not uh, get in so easily so keep the uh, uh, washer and so this is how typically it would go and on the other side you would put first put in the washer then you put the longer spacer keep this in mind do not swap them if you have if you happen to swap them what would happen is the alignment would kind of shift because of the spacer and these have been calculated and precisely cut so the long spacer comes here first the washer spacer the bracket there's a spring washer that we have provided and then there's a check nut and then of course there's the main nut so this is exactly how it would go on the back the hex bolt goes from the bottom and this side is where we have these button head uh, ax, uh, allen bolts so this is how it would go so this would typically look like this so what i would recommend is one two three these are these precisely go on this side uh, whereas the hex bolts go one two three four and this one's the fifth one and uh, these long bolts so they go from the outside and typically they would sit in right here so on this side you would have uh, so let's just go to the bike so i guess this would be a better way to showcase so not a good idea one second so we have a different bolt right here but uh, this is how this bolt would typically go so Im uh, so assume this bolt is coming from the outside you would have one washer from the outside and whatever accessories you have such as your brackets such as the bracket for the zana guard or the hepco becker or uh, the sw motec they would go in from this side and on the other side you already have on the right side which is the brake side there is already a nut that has been welded by kawasaki but um, you have to fasten it and uh, basically this is welded so you don't need to worry about fastening it but what i mean is you'll have to tighten this bolt and once it comes on the outside you put the uh, you put the brackets you you basically slide in the bracket and then you put the washer and you lock this up so that's how this would get installed so there'll be two bolts here and uh, there would be two bolts on this side uh, that's typically how it is installed uh, sorry about the shaky bit but since it's a tight space it's kind of difficult to film so as you can see this is the bolt there's a washer here this is a zana plate and this is the stock uh, the bracket that we have uh, the stock bracket and on this side there are no welds 
the, basically the nuts not welded so this is where the brackets face comes in and then there's a washer and then there's a nut goes in so this washer would let me just uh, show you exactly how this works so this is exactly how it would go one washer here one washer here and this this washer sits on top of all the brackets whereas and the same thing here any other brackets that you have such as your zana your sw motec whatever everything goes on top and this sits like this this again has been precisely calculated and the bolt is just optimum so do not worry that it's going to touch the engine so don't worry about it 